Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Marine to episode 6 of Wonderful Freakers. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see what happened. To, what, today would be the first fight that they have, right? So, I'm guessing that's going to be very, very emotional for the both of them. Yeah. No. Where's Kamogi? Oh, there we go. Honey, you might get to use one today. That's complicated. Like I said, maybe certain ones were just used for certain girls. Like what? Uh-oh. No. Poor baby. Yeah, it is. <laughs> God, this is gonna be good. Hmm. <laughs> that is Cody. <laughs> oh God. Yay. Oh. oh my god
Yeah, it's all to make you be happy. Because you don't want anything happening to you. Aww. Uh oh, somebody jelly. Okay, you gotta stay here. Aww, poor baby. Oh, get in. Oh, my God. Her dad is hot. I mean, every year there's always one guy. Almost in every single season of Pretty Year, there's like usually one. Next week. Yeah, it's complicated. With what? But you are useful, babe. Yeah, but you're sleepy, though. Uh oh. You see how good they're showing their paws? Oh my god, that was so fucking cute. So. You want that leash, yeah. No. <laughs> Mm. 
squirrel. It looked like a squirrel did. And then look at it! Look at it! Uh-oh. Oh no, you okay? Him. Just look at her. Are you trying to console her? That's so freaking cute. Oh my god. Yeah, go apologize. I uh, feel like mm, we going. Mm hmm. Uh, even Yuki. Oh. Well, they're always right about that. Animals can set things way before the rest of us can.
the lion. <laughs> True. No, hold on now, wait. Yeah, mm-hmm. Scared. But you're scared. Mm-hmm. It's okay. It's got to be the penguin. Yep. <laughs> Not the fish. Oh, this might end on a cliffhanger. She just wanted to help. Don't yell at her.
Where are you going? Tearing up. Nope, 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 nope. No, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, not so baby running away from home. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't want this. No, 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 my heart right now. I don't know how to feel right now. That, mm mm. I don't like the fact that these two argued, and, and now with the fact you end that episode on a cliffhanger, and Komogi running away from home because she feels useless right now, and, and I don't like that. Like, mm -mm. no, she doesn't. She doesn't hate you. Oh my god. Um okay. Th this is a very interesting way to do these two episodes and such cuz I get it. She Komoki is very much and because it, this is still the dog part of her with the wands and everything. I love the fact that she has it, it's a sentimental value for her and such. And so with Iroha basically saying like, "Oh, we can use another one up until the time being." Of course she was right to, you know, lash out and everything. It's a sentimental value to baby. And it means the world to her. And But my issue, my thing was, this is kind of what I thought. I initially thought that the, not the wand, well yeah, the wand slash leash. Oh crap. Um, after every battle would just go back into the leash until they were essentially needed it. But no, we ain't going that way. So I get it. Once again, I, I see the sentimental value of it because of the fact is it's like they chose that together. So, of course, it has like the most sentimental value to both of them. But because Iroha was like, oh, no, we can just use another one for the time being. Of course, baby had the right to, you know, be upset and be like, well, hold up. This is like a symbolism of our relationship, our partnership, not even a friendship, but I'm like you know, ownership and stuff. Like, you, like okay, t typically if you have a pet and stuff, your pet is like your baby. Your pet is your world. Your pet is your everything. Cody, even though Cody is not in my room with me, he, he in there in the living room with my mom, Cody is my everything. Um, As I always like to make jokes and everything, but like, yeah, I birthed it to Cody. <laughs> and such. But that that is my baby. Now, my two previous dogs before Cody got in Kiana, my mom, my dad, and I would always consider them my sisters because, duh, they've been with me for such a long time that, you know, eh. And then, you know, I had friends being like, what do you mean you have to walk your sisters? We're like, oh, no, you'll find out when they come out. Um, But Cody is my baby. And have I gotten mad at Cody? Yes. Have I, have I yelled at Cody for doing something wrong? Yes. But I've always still said sorry at the end of the day. And this is what these two really need to do. They bickered for majority of this episode. So going into episode seven next week, we're going to see them both apologize. Of course, 
<laughs> He's like, he wrote how it's going to be worried sick because of the fact it's completely ran away from home and you're waking up the next day and you have no idea what the hell your dog is like, uh, or just any other pet. You, um, you tend to freak out. Like currently it's been a while now, but, uh, one of the neighbors in my apartment complex recently, uh, this had to be like a while back ago, um, lost their kitten, cute little black kitten and such. And there's a little poster outside, um, of like my downstairs and stuff. So I see it every day when I come out of my apartment coming downstairs to go take Cody out and stuff. I would be fucking devastated if I lost that dog. I I can't imagine the little kids and everything who got the kitten and then out of nowhere just lost it and stuff and you know you wonder whenever it's going to come home, but then at the same time, you have to think logically and stuff. And you, you don't want to do that. Nobody really wants to do that when it comes to pets and such. It's the same thing of when, you know, you have to do the one thing you don't want to do and such for them. But you do it because it's better, not only for them, but also for you. But at the same time, you know, you want them with you 24-7. I'm not going to cry again. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. Mm-hmm. I just need a little moment. But yeah, no, I, I really do think these two by next week will make up most definitely. But gotta wait and see. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six of Wonderful Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode seven. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.